12 News at 10 starts right now. Good evening. Tonight, 12 News has obtained exclusive video of a crash involving several vehicles and a Phoenix fire truck. The crash sent four people to the hospital, including a firefighter. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. Team 12's Chase Golightly joins us live at Indian School and 70th Avenue, where all of this happened. Chase. Caribbean Mark, still a very active investigation going on here. I'm going to go ahead and step out to the side so you can see the aftermath. This is the Phoenix fire truck that was involved in today's crash. You can see it appears that it plowed through a cinder block fence. It even tore down part of this parking structure here at this apartment complex, and it's been here for hours as police continue their investigation into exactly what happened. But tonight we obtained video that shows this situation unfold. All it took was eight seconds. A Phoenix fire truck crashing into a car that was hit from behind and pushed into firefighters way. That fire truck then crashing nearby. According to this security camera video taken by Andrew Trujillo just outside the San Marina apartments, it was just before 510 in the afternoon. What you are seeing is Indian School just west of 67th Avenue. In the video, you can see this dark colored SUV heading east stop in the far left lanes. The two cars behind it also stop. However, this black sedan didn't, crashing into this red car, pushing it into oncoming lanes. That's when you see a Phoenix Fire Department fire truck plow right into it, pushing it several feet back as the fire truck crashes into the apartment complex parking lot, sending smoke into the air. Those living at the apartment complex, walking out of their homes, seeing the aftermath. Oh, terrible, crazy. Oh, it's awful. The front of the fire truck severely damaged, along with the red car that the fire truck hit. Parts of the car spread all over the street. The Phoenix Fire Department says four people were taken to the hospital, including a fire engineer. A spokesperson for the Phoenix Police Department says there are no life-threatening injuries in this crash. At this time... Police are investigating this situation. I spoke with the spokesperson for the Phoenix Fire Department a few hours ago. They tell me that fire engineer that was hurt in this crash is now in stable condition. However, at this time, they're not providing any further information about the situation. Of course, stick with 12 News as we learn more. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Jay Lightly, 12 News.